Congressman Lee Zeldin, Republican candidate for governor of New York, joins us now to respond. Um, Congressman, um, I believe you are running to be the first Jewish governor in New York history. Is that right? Well, the first Jewish Republican, you remember that Spitzer guy, that didn't work out so well oh, yeah. uh, a, few, a few governors ago. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important to point out that uh, Governor DeSantis is somebody who has a long record of uh, strengthening relationships with the Jewish community, fighting anti-Semitism, strengthening the U.S.-Israel relationship, fighting the Iran nuclear deal. And for myself, when I first got to Congress, I was the only Jewish Republican. I'm currently <laughs> one of two, and I've been active in these efforts, uh, building the relationship with the Jewish community. So, uh, you know, it's it's really ignorant to be trying to attack Ron and I, uh, but they're getting desperate. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's laughable on its face. Now, um, Governor Hochul's response, meanwhile, to the surging crime in New York. Watch this. These are master manipulators. They have this conspiracy going all across America to try and convince people that in democratic states they're not as safe. Well, guess what? They're also not only election deniers, they're data deniers. Uh, Congressman Zeldin, are you a data denier? No, and, and listen, it was just a few weeks ago. I, I had a drive-by gang-related shooting on my own front yard while my 16-year-old daughters were sitting at the kitchen table doing homework on a quiet Sunday afternoon. There were two people shot laying on the ground just 10 feet from where they were. Uh, we just had a Rikers Island correction officer in the last few hours got stabbed 15 times and is now in the hospital in Queens and hopefully is able to have a full recovery. That's where our, our thoughts and prayers are right now in New York. We're seeing the videos of people who on the city are getting day after day thrown uh, onto the tracks, in some cases actually killed by cars that are coming. We have stories coming from around the state where a, for example, a Long Island dad, an accountant, is visiting his kid for parents' weekend up in Marist College and is grabbing a cup of coffee, checking out of the hotel, and ends up getting shot. We can recap the stories, the high-profile stories from the last three weeks. And you would think that we're recapping a list from the last three years. And Kathy Hochul wants to call us conspiracy theorists for just stating raw facts backed up in video with actual victims. This is why she is so out of touch. At last week's debate, she said she doesn't understand why locking up criminals is so important to me. And when she says that, it's a message to New Yorkers. She doesn't care or understand why this is so important to everyone. And it's one of the main reasons why she is going mm -hmm. to lose one week from tomorrow. Congressman, we'll be watching. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.